something that was, was lost. There was a depletion here of value, of resources, of sustainability. And knowing that this was the time to jump was an awakened experience for you. But where are we jumping to? Where are we going to? You're just not letting anything intimidate you. Page of Cups and Six of Cups, a new offer. Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is an energy reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And we begin with surrender now. What is it that you have to give over to, Scorpio? Surrender now like a moth to a flame. Let's understand this better. Scorpio, this is a timeless message. You call it into you, so it comes to you when you're supposed to hear it. That being said, there is a new message for you every single week here. Um, so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can enjoy. We'll put that there, leave that there. So you can enjoy a new message every week uh, and hit all notifications. And even if you are subscribed, check to see that you're getting your notifications because it seems very off right now. Um, and that's just gonna, just gonna help and ensure that you can watch the videos as soon as I upload them. Scorpio, if you're looking for a personal reading, I do do those. Please check out my website at bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. You could choose a service that's right for you. You ready? Scorpio. Surrender now, my friends. Where do we go from here? Lots of fire energy, sweet results await. So what are the cards telling us? In these two very simple messages, there is something that you must release. And then success comes. So this is just letting you know it's all your choice. There's no push or force here, Scorpio. But it is the truth that is coming to you to say... If you surrender, there is an energy of brilliance on the other side of this. Now, there's also this intense passion that may be building and the sense of you don't feel like you have control. You're just being pulled into that direction, in which case this would be the energy that says trust that pull. Because you'll end up in this beautiful energy of abundance, sweetness. Are you dealing with a Leo or a fire sign? Because once again, we have Leo energy again. Be generous of spirit. Let yourself show your passion. Absolutely. This is all fire energy is in, imploring you, Scorpio. To be outward about. Your enthusiasm for things. This is not a time to withdraw or hold this inside. There is a certainty in your heart and you must wear that outwardly. You see a future here. A potential. Or there is absolute progress that's coming out of the actions you take this week. They are your actions. 
They must be active. When you deal with fire energy, it must be active. It's not an energy that can say it's just passive. It's going to happen to you. That's not how fire energy works. When you're being called by fire energy, it is to push yourself forward, to take action. And you, where, are, where are you going to take action? You have to take action where you are being pulled. You feel it already. You know it. It is like a moth to a flame. This sense of, I got to just grab it. Go after it. A rebirth is assured. That's scorpionic energy. So perhaps part of this is awakening to your own personal power. And your own ability to trust yourself. And trust the direction of your pull, of that intensity. You are, at least traditionally, ruled by Mars. So there is that active and energetic part of you that still exists. There's an awakening here, an awareness of what you really desire. Or what you truly, truly are passionate about. And then perhaps this is awakened. You're, you just awakened. But you have to take action for something else to awaken. It is, it's your actions that are going to awaken another's awareness. Whether that be another person, another consciousness, another situation. It is your awareness that triggers that awareness. And then we have see the big picture. So looking out into the distance, zooming out to ensure a sense of there's something bigger going on here than just what's directly in front of you. And there's a lot of excitement and anticipation that is like firing up this energy. We have Taurus energy, Scorpio energy, Leo energy, very fixed energy. Okay. What is this big picture that we're to see? What is this big picture that we are supposed to become aware of? You're awakening to a bigger picture. And that's why you're being asked or being pulled in this direction now. And this reading is a confirmation that that's what exists. And that that's what's happening. That awakening, taking these actions now, awaken a further potential. For whatever situation this is impacting. Okay. Six of Wands? Really? Victory and success. Being proud of where you are and who you are. The actions that you've taken. Being celebrated for the actions that you've taken. This can also represent a homecoming. People happy to see you. Happy to see your success. People seeing you as a leader. Or you understanding that there is somebody in your midst that is worth the investment. Because you understand their leadership potential. Their soul potential. And the rest of the world will finally see it. Okay, more, more wands, Scorpio, what is this bigger picture? The bigger picture of the bigger success, we finally have Aquarius energy on the table, but it has been interrupted, shall we say, by five of cups, aspirations interrupted by disappointment. Disappointed aspirations. And then we have eight of cups. So there is definitely a sense of knowing that you want to walk away from something or being done with something, which we got like a moth to a flame. Allow yourself to fall into, including whatever you're falling out of. Eight of cups is I'm done. I've lost, I've lost the drive for something. And then we have the Five of Cups and the Aquarius energy of, this is the Eclipse. 
I feel like you felt really good about leaving something behind and it probably happened around the eclipse about being completely just undone or knowing that you were completely done with something. And that was such a good decision for you, even though there may have been hesitation because something did not add up, my friends. Something did not add up to your aspirations for it or the potential you truly saw for it. And there was disappointment here. But it was in owning the disappointment that you were able to move on from it, walk away from it, and see the potential moving forward in something different. Maybe it was even in yourself. It's almost like I'm tired of waiting. I'm done. Should we have been done? It looks like a good decision. Should we have been done? What's going on with this leaving or disappointment? The world changed. So it was almost like you were reacting to something outside of you, having to accept that in reality, reality itself had shifted. And so something just didn't fit anymore. This is global, worldly, or it represents a moment in your life that was completed. And where do we go from here? Five of Swords, there was a defeat. You accepted defeat. Because in some on some level, you realized that defeat was the victory. That the ending to this constant circling was the success that you need right now. So there was just some sense of walking away and then six of swords we go from five of swords to six of swords being able to comprehend and understand what the defeat happened or that there was a defeat that there was something beyond what was lost and that access to what was beyond what was lost was more important than staying around and wasting your energy on what was lost so there was an unstuck energy about you around this eclipse okay so where is scorpio heading what is then awakening five of pentacles um worry fear no but it's more um poverty fear like some something it's almost like you had to learn to face your fear of losing or your fear of they can take everything from me except me some of you had to, might I had had to have actually faced that either something wasn't going anywhere, it wasn't going to hold value anymore, or it wasn't going to pay back the value that you had invested in it. It's almost like realizing I got to get out now. I don't really have a choice, but ultimately that's fine. There was as an acceptance that the value had decreased or something that was, was lost. There was a depletion here of value, of resources, of sustainability. And knowing that this was the time to jump was an awakened experience for you. But where are we jumping to? Where are we going to? You're just not letting anything intimidate you. Page of Cups and Six of Cups, a new offer. An offer that really connects you to something that fulfills you or someone that fulfills you. Or being able to say, you're the person I'm attracted to. Let's start fresh. I'm going to open my heart to this new possibility. But it's, it's partnership, certainly. Let's get a moon card. Scorpio, let's get a moon card. Okay. We have surrender to the divine full moon. We have a full moon coming up. It's a full moon, Scorpio.
all this energy is building up to being able to finally express how you truly feel about something and not letting what could have been, should have been, or what didn't work out get in the way of that. Damn. Give it, I'm giving up the fight. I know what way this is headed. I'm good with that. Scorpio. Spiritual path. It's almost like there's an alignment inside you. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you which prompts you to make necessary life changes. And that's it. Full moons are about clearing things out. They're also a completion of a cycle that began in the Scorpio new moon, which would have been sometime in October, late October or November of 2023. So, Take a second and look back around that time, Scorpios. What began? There's a completion or fulfillment of whatever was happening around that time in your life. And you're ready for it to be completed and fulfilled. And the world card suggests that that is true. You are ready and more aligned now after trying to make something work or trying to be something you are now in realignment with your actual truth. And that is what all that Leo energy is for. The sense of I'm good with what I am and who I am. And I'm willing to live it and be it out loud and show my enthusiasm for those things that I really want and care about. There is this new connectivity or love on the horizon. Whoa. How does this play out? Yang energy. You take action. That's it. Once again, fire energy. And we've been talking about this the whole time. We've been talking about this intense, I'm certain now. I'm not waiting any longer. I'm sure. So whatever the blockage, there's this unblockage, this burst of energy that's come through. Take action. You're ready to make a decision now. You may have sat on this for a while, but you are so certain and so ready. And the message or the directive here is to do it, to take action. You're ready for this new life and it's going to make you so, so happy. Now, this is it becoming real. Yang energy. So you're going to be so grateful for this clearing and this new beginning. But it's through yourself. You are ready. And so no time like the present to jump in to what you know you are already ready for. Don't hold back. Scorpio, I hope you'd like to join me for the extended reading. The link is down below in the description box. It is also, uh, pin it to the top of the comment section. I'll see you there.